Hello everyone, this is Lolly. We're going to do a Confessions of a Hoarder. This episode is envelopes. <laughs> so, and this is nowhere near my envelope stash, just so you know. Um, these I have from years gone by. I mean, these were late 90s and I definitely had more. I've been, I've been working my way through these. I had two boxes of these and now it's down to one. So I used to go to places like Walgreens or the grocery store the day after a holiday like Mother's Day, etc. Because the day after a holiday, back then, I don't even know if they do this anymore, they used to take all the old cards down that had to do with that holiday and they would send the cards back to the store, to the manufacturer or somewhere, but they would throw away the envelopes. And we would just go in and say, hey, can we have those envelopes? And so if they were going through the cards, we could get all these free envelopes. So I've had many, many sizes. So you can see right there, Hallmark. So whenever I would have a strange size of a card, this is what I would grab. But my uh, envelope stash does not stop there. Let's continue. Now these are all A2 envelopes and you can see the different colors here because I used to when I and I, some of them that I made in the back here when I used to be a demonstrator for uh, dots and that was before it became close to my heart and during that transition time when it became close to my heart I used to sell cardstock so every color you see here I used to sell the matching cardstock and the envelopes okay more Okay, and now I had picked up a lot of envelopes from thrift stores, and so I have this stack here, and these are the ones with the double window in them, and then one of the thrift stores had, oh, some company donated dozens and dozens of boxes full of envelopes, and so basically they were charging like $2.00. For each box and so this is the legal size and it's like a linen weave and it's kind of a creamy color sometimes I actually use these for um, actually mailing bills and stuff here's the here's the front of that Simpson Sundance felt in Adobe tan 70 pound and then this also was donated to them this doesn't have the lid or but anyway, it's a long white envelope with the, but it's, I'm sorry, not long. <laughs> it's a long window. So all of these are window envelopes. And another box. Now this one is Mead Bond Envelopes, White Ripple. Doesn't say how much they, okay. And I really like these ones. They are, these are old. You can see by the discoloration on the top but they're very crinkly, and I love that about them. So this one um, I've been using more of, and I think that the company who donated them, it wasn't a full box. I'm going to see if these fit in there. Perfect. Okay, and we have more. Uh, and this one here, Champion Bond Laid Finish Envelopes in Blue. So this is a real, again, they're very, very aged, discolored around the edges, nearly full, you can see. And so all these big boxes, like I said, were the $2 boxes. Sky Tone Yellow from Hopper Papers, never heard of them. So let's try and get one of these out. This has kind of a vellum look, you know, it's like a mottled yellow, it's not a solid. Like you can almost, it's very translucent in spots. So that is a lot of envelopes, I know. This one, I it appears this one didn't have any missing from it. They're really nice, so I really got a deal. I think there were more than $2 a box, but it wasn't much. And I'm bringing this back in just for something to look at. Um, this does not even include the onesies and twosies I have that I have picked up from different thrift stores and have put aside for junk journaling. Wow. So I can't even begin to <laughs> show my confusion over how many envelopes I have. So you know what this means. 
we are going to have to start crafting with envelopes. Who is with me on this? So let's start doing envelope projects and we'll see how many things I can come up with to use these. Uh, leave your comments down below of things you've made with envelopes, things you want to see made with envelopes. I have definitely used them in journals and I have made other things with them. I am going to give you uh, a list down below. It's actually my playlist of all my envelope making, envelope projects, etc. But I think that since I've used these in junk journals and things like that, that those ones might not be in the list. But also included is just envelopes that I've made. Um, so we'll just start more videos using some envelopes and we will put that in the playlist.